Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Today I want to show you how to use custom alphas for your terrain. First I would like to show you how to make an alpha inside Photoshop. I already created a 1k document and uh, what we're gonna do first thing is I will make the whole background black. Uh, for alphas the way that it works everything which is black it's uh, not gonna be moved everything which goes more to the white uh, it's gonna go up or down depending on uh, if you are subtracting or adding and let's just uh, make a very simple line let me first make a new layer and make a line like this I will go one more time into the middle part few times like this okay so we have like uh, like a gradient I'll save it now that we have our alpha saved I will import it inside Unreal okay this is uh, our mask that we have next step uh, I will delete this cube and I will add uh, terrain we are not gonna make any specific modification I'll just click create and the way that uh, you modify terrain is uh, when we are in landscape and we can go in sculpt and then you can you have different sculpt tools you can you have smooth you have flatten and the default alpha which uh, Unreal is using is this circular element if you want to do something a little bit more custom or some uh, or some element which is a little bit more specific for your project the way to do it is uh, with custom alphas. And uh, how do you, how do we use our alpha that uh, we already created? While we are on the sculpting tool, we go onto the circle, we select alpha, and now we can select a texture. You can see that we already have our mask texture. And I wanted you to notice that also the brush changes to have the same to have the same visual as our alpha that we created. Now if I start sculpting, you can see that instead of making a circle, I'll make it a little bit bigger, instead of making a circle, we are actually making a line which raises in the middle more because there we had more white color and it doesn't raise as much on the sides. Another thing that uh, I like to do, as you can see, I've imported uh, another mask. This is just an image from Google, or you can actually get a scanned data and uh, from it to create uh, a displacement, and then this displacement you can use it as well for building. Let's see how the other alpha works. I'll just switch this mask to the other one. And you can see that very quickly we can create uh, terrain. One thing that I wanted you to notice is that uh, the alpha at the moment is rotating. This is an option which uh, we can turn on or turn off. It's down here, you can see auto rotate, we can stop it. Now already everything is in the same direction. Thank you for watching my short tutorial today. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you next time.